What is going on world? Today is the day. Today is the official first day of the neurohacking experiments. Right now, I'm about to head off and we're gonna go scan my brain. Right now, we're about to go do an EEG reading with Heather. She is, uh, to be honest, she does a lot of very interesting stuff. I met her this weekend at her fire party. A very unique little party that she has going on here in London, Ontario. So you guys, if you've been watching this whole neurohacking experiment series, this is about the fourth video in the whole series. So if you don't know what is going on, I really suggest pausing this video and going to check out the first few videos because this is going to explain everything. It's going to introduce you to Ben Switzer who's conducting this experiment and I'm basically just his human lab rat. I'm basically just his guinea pig and I'm going to be following his cognitive optimization program and we're gonna see how fast I can learn Hungarian and I think we're gonna try to do some other unique things like learn how to play the piano or something else so guys go check out those videos if you are all caught up get ready because we're about to go meet Heather we're gonna do an EEG reading right now and get my brain scanned and just to give you guys some context it is about four o'clock in the afternoon I just finished at the gym and I just broke my fast last night I stopped eating around like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. So right now, I'm anywhere between about 17 hours fasted, if my calculations are correct there. You guys can double check me. I'm going real quick because I'm running a little late. We gotta be there for about 4.45. So I got about 45 minutes. I gotta shower up and see if I can get another meal in before, and then we're about to get my brain scanned. I can't wait for this. Let's go see what's up. Eventually. Just a little ramp. Yeah. Welcome. Oh, it's Ben. Oh, yeah. here we go. <laughs> and we got Heather. Amazing. <laughs> yes. This is going to be exciting. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Heather was just filling me in. So did you want to tell my followers kind of like what you do, what you're all about? So I'm a neurofeedback therapist. And essentially what I do here in my office is more or less like physiotherapy for brain networks. So I primarily work with people with concussions and with post-traumatic stress disorder. But we know that a variety of other things come along with that. So I basically use brain-computer interfaces to help retrain the brain. Basically kind of getting the timing back to the brain. And when the body's own natural timing is happening, then its own natural healing capacities can kind of come into play. That's amazing. I'm excited for this. Ben, have you done this before? Uh, I've read a lot about EEG, uh, and there was this entire summer I spent studying it, uh, but I've never actually seen one before. Mm -hmm. I've never seen one done, so this is a really exciting moment for me. Awesome. I'm excited. Well, let's get started. Yeah, let's right. do it. So I'm going to use this paste, it's kind of like a cat's tongue, it's just going to clean off any excess oil off of your ear and your forehead, or ears I should say, so cold <laughs> scrubbing process. <laughs> I never realized that becoming an earlobe masseuse was <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> part of my job description, but I'm getting real good at it. Looks looks really good on you. Does it? Yeah, right? It's like a fighter pilot. From yeah. <laughs> really brings out your head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is it like a saline? Yeah, what's this? This is like, it's like a electro gel, so it's kind of, no, not saline. It is salt, though, based. These are the ground lines, kind of the references. So all the electrodes kind of reference to one another, and then reference to this point to kind of understand what's going on. Ooh. No, 
around, <laughs> putting the gel in. It's a nice, feels nice yeah. and juicy yeah. on yeah. the body. Feeling. And then just uh, make circles to kind of get your hair out of the way. Yep. So, amazing. and I have a question for you. Yeah. Have you noticed changes throughout the day? So if like I were to come in the morning versus now versus like later at night, what do you think there would be a change? So there is our changes in circadian rhythm and particularly, and this is something I actually asked one of my supervisors, but he finds that in general that kind of clears itself out based on just people coming in and training. Some people come and train the same time of day, and if you're finding that that time is at the best for them, maybe coming a little earlier, because I have clients that will be get cast in them and they're fatigued. Right. at the end of the day, so I'm like, come earlier, but he says, basically over time it kind of clears itself out, but, but there are differences, yes. Yeah. So when I was doing my research, I started wondering, now, well, if I'm testing these two in the afternoon and these people in the morning, but he said that it, it mm. tends to... You'd uh, think there would be an optimal training time. Yeah. Well, like, so, I'm all Everyone's about... Everyone's so unique. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? That's the thing, and that's why neurofeedback is lingers and is kind of behind in the research too is everyone wants to be like this protocol does this thing right oh doesn't yeah. work like that no, it's very this, situational you need a map you need to follow the map how's that person doing sometimes people out it'll work for them one day and not another day and it depends on their diet like there's a lot of factors that come into play one of the more uh, advanced teachers that i have Oh my god, he prints out so many maps and he takes so many questionnaires and he does a lot of cognitive tests and I'd like to get to that place. But he's mm -hmm. every session he's asking about their diet, like all these things. Yeah. Because you have to keep all of that tracking. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Every factor. Sure. Yeah. So I have those conversations with people. I don't document it the same way he does at this point. This is gonna be amazing. Stop. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna do quiet time. So you're gonna close your eyes, and I want you to just sit super comfortable in the chair. So your jaw's gonna be relaxed and everything. Um, anytime you clench your muscles or move your eyes around, it interferes with my recording. So the more relaxed you can be, the better. Just breathing, good. It's gonna take five minutes. I'll let you know like halfway how much more time. And starting now. Your jaw. I like grind my teeth when I sleep. Yeah, a lot. we can turn that off. Yeah. You can see it in your mouth. Did you get headaches from it? Um, not really. No, okay, but you carry tension there. Yeah. So by just eliminating that jaw tension that you carry all the time and actually working out whatever it is why you grind like that, you have like twice as much energy. In the really? Day. Yeah, it's a sign that your betas idle fast. And so you have that intensity to your personality, which is cool, and it's not about, but it's about the intensity being chosen as opposed to driven. Yeah. And that's about like kind of quieting some of that beta activity a little bit. I have you guys like these. Yeah, I find in the, in the spring and summer, I have like, because of allergies, like I have a lot of pressure there. Like I can yeah. even like feel it right now. Like okay, uh, I can pop my ears very easily. Do you take a lot of allergy meds? I don't take any medication. I just deal with it. Because <laughs> allergy meds increase delta and over time oh, yeah. they're finding it leads to like, damage. Yeah, I try to avoid any kind of like, even yeah, when I'm but... sick, like I try to just natural stuff. They're but fine. like I find, yeah. uh, when, like, I have a very active mind, so like I can't just go to sleep. Like I need to like unwind. Unwind. I smoke some weed typically, yeah. and I try to like really c calm myself down. Like Arthur can just pass out, and I'm like, I can't do that, man. That's why, like, when we're at Daniel's, I, I can't like just these. sleep here, man. I gotta go. <laughs> this will help you sleep. So this is a hack. This one is going to be done uh, with eyes open. What oh, we're the going to do, yeah, we're going to do, we do two. With eyes open, you're going to find somewhere to gaze, but it, I want it to be downwards. See how, like, you can bear it, like, my eyes look almost closed. It just reduces blinking. Yeah, that's exactly it. This is so cool. I know, this is amazing. Just watching your brain waves. Just now is <laughs> an experience where I actually got goosebumps. Oh, yeah. oh, wait till you see, like, yeah, I'll show you with the maps. I'll show you my son's maps so you can actually see. 
So trying to give me five seconds between blinks. Don't worry about it too much. Starting now. So eventually we can get to, once I have maps on him and we're actively training, you can actually, so I have a 3D rotating brain, Whoa. and we can check out regions of interest with it. Like, oh my god. Yeah, so I can look at what's happening. Ben, you're about to get your brain scanned. You try not to freak out too much with excitement. <laughs> chill out. Sides tight. Do you feel it? Um, I'm not sure. That'd be nice job. and lingering PTSD stuff. Mm -hmm. I do have chronic pain still. I bet. Okay. I've got some things we can do. You probably have lingering inflammation, so I can use the pulsed electromagnetic device on your adrenals to bring down your adrenal fatigue. That would be great. Right? Today was. I pitched. Uh, in a pitch competition today, yeah. so I'm particularly exact. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so you're tired, you're tensing to stay awake. Okay. <laughs> okay. So close your eyes. Yeah, it's less with your eyes closed. Open your jaw for me one more time. Real big, nice stretch, yeah. And then again, relax it. So your mouth doesn't have to stay lingering open because you get dry out yeah, much better. Good. Gonna start now. When did you acquire, I'm curious now about PTSD, so you do not have to share if you don't want to. Yeah, I'm comfortable. Okay. <laughs> I need now. Yeah. This is your jaw tension. That's massive. So open your jaw. And relax it and like genuinely feel softness. So when you exhale, get to the bottom of your breath and gently pause. But see how much it's softened? Yeah. Wow. It's still a little tight and even talk, you're just, your natural state is tight, but that's, probably coping you probably still have some slow wave from your trauma because trauma creates slow wave in the brain whether it's a concussion or an emotional shock the brain interprets it as a potential seizure and then clearing that slow wave mm. takes a little bit of time so i had um i had lyme disease as well oh okay and that gave me some yes <laughs> some psych symptoms uh-huh yeah that so that will probably see that in your map um, I'm still supervised on reading maps, so I'll do the best of my ability, but I'm going to reach out to my supervisor and ask him if he's interested in like donating some time. He's pretty cool. He's the one who came to Prague with me for this project and like reading the maps for you guys with me because that would be really interesting. So I'll ask him if he does that. Otherwise, he charges me 150 US an hour. Oh, wow. So I've spent a lot of money learning how to do this. Yep. It's not been easy. All 
right, so after we left Heather there, we were just super excited about our brain scan, so we completely forgot to wrap up the video. Right now, I'm sitting down with Ben, and we're going to actually cover the results of the EEG readings, as well as the little uh, gamified assessment he had me do, and the results were quite similar. So make sure you guys go check out the next video. That's going to take you guys through all the results from those brain scans. And uh, did anything you want to add? Like, what did you think of being with Heather there? Like, I think we got some of it in the video, but it's been about like a week and a half to two weeks. You've met back up with her. Anything about your scans? Yeah, it was really interesting. Uh, Heather is, you know, she's an expert um, in a field that's really quite new. Um, so it was interesting to, to learn from her and have that experience. And she was able to identify a brain injury that I had during a car crash that I've been compensating for for some time and she set up a neurofeedback protocol for me yeah. and it was really, really cool. So now I'm doing daily training um, essentially because the neurofeedback teaches you how to think in the way that stimulates that brain area and it's different from person to person. For me, I had to think down and left and control my breathing in a certain way to make okay. it work. So now a couple times a day, I'm thinking down and left. I'm controlling my breathing to try to rehabilitate that injury. Um, we talked about your scans as well, which is really interesting, uh, cross-referencing the cognitive battery um, with uh, some of the reference guides and the EEG results. And there was a lot of consistency there, which was really exciting. It shows the power of the, of the instruments we're using to measure this stuff. And I'm just excited to see what the changes will be after the program's done. Awesome. Well, you guys are watching it here. Hopefully, I don't know if you guys are watching this live or maybe this is sometime in the future. If you are, make sure you guys go check out all the videos from this whole series in the playlist because it's going to lead you through kind of how we're doing this. It's going to give you guys tips and tricks on how you can start doing this for yourself as well as the changes that are going to go through in my brain and even yours as well too now because you're, you're doing protocols to change stuff. Yeah, and you know, as, as a neurohacker, you know, what that means, it's more than... Uh, it's more than just a methodology, it's a philosophy of being in the sense that you're always trying to push yourself to new levels. So having that information was very empowering for me and you know, I'm doing daily meditation and always trying to take it to the next level. So uh, I'm excited, I guess I'm, I'm doing neurohacking experiments all the time on myself. Yeah. Too. It's a human lab rat right here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, this video is getting just a little long, so we're going to wrap it up here. Again, go check out the next video because it's going to act, Ben's actually going to break down the results from the, the brain scans and the cognitive battery. So make sure you guys go hit that like button and leave us a comment. We'd love to know what you guys think about all this. So, and make sure you go check out truefocus.ca. Go follow Ben on Instagram, and we will see you guys in the next video.